So, hello everyone. This is Orlando Torres Rodriguez from Ponce Health Sciences University, Ponce Research Institute, working under the guidance of Dr. James Porter Laboratory. The title of my presentation is ICD Administration of a P2X7 Antagonist Prevent DSPS Induced PTSD Related Behaviors in Male and Female Rats. So, first of all, we have to define what post traumatic stress disorder is which is a neuropsychiatric disorder often developed after experiencing a near-death or traumatic event. In the picture, you can observe some of the examples, such as domestic violence victims and combat active war veterans. Uh, so around 8.6 million of individuals in the U.S. have a diagnosis of PTSD around the ages of 18 and 64. 10% of the women will develop PTSD at some, at some point in their life. Around 138,000 military personnel were diagnosed with PTSD between the 2000 and 2015. And one of the characteristics of these patients is that they present a 7% hippocampal loss, and the hippocampus being a brain region important in the formation of memories. Another important characteristic is the inflammation that this patient might present. So PTSD patient might exhibit increased circulatory, circulating inflammatory cytokines. And in terms of behavior, we are interested in studying the fear generalization, the fear extinction, and accelerated anxiety that this patient might present. So why looking at PTSD? So in the last 20 years, there has been no FDA-approved treatment for PTSD. But currently, the only FDA-approved treatment for PTSD, which is serotonin reuptake inhibitors, they only work in approximately 33% of the patients. So this leaves a gap of around 60% of the patient in which treatment does not work, thus making them uh, susceptible for relapse. And for this reason, we have incorporated an animal model to study PTSD, uh, which is named uh, single prolonged stress. You can see it in letter A, which is, consists of two hours of restraint stress, then a 20-minute for swim test and either exposure. And then after seven days of recovery, we expose the animal to a behavioral paradigm, which is depicted in letter C, that would test the fear discrimination, fear extinction, and anxiety-like behavior among all the samples. So here are our results in letter A. Our results uh, show that during day five, the animal that were exposed to the SPS, you will see it in purple, they spent, uh, they uh, show an increased freezing uh, time when compared to the non-stressed animals. So similarly, as you will see in letter B, the SPS female rats that were uh, the SPS exposed female rats, the ones in purple, they also show an increased freezing response during day five, which is the extinction recall when compared to the non-stressed. Uh, so here you will see male rats and female rats. Oh, and when you look at day six, which is depicted in letter D and letter F, you will see that both males and females that were exposed to the SPS, they spent less time in the center when compared to the, to the non-stress. So after the behavioral assessment, we sacrificed the animal, and blood serum sample work what was collected for the measurement of 16 different pro-inflammatory cytokines. As you will see, our results show that SPS animal had an increased peripheral expression of the TGF beta. Although you might observe an alteration in the highlighted cytokine, which suggests that SPS alters the expression of, perif of peripheral pro inflammatory cytokines. So, moreover, we also collected ventral hippocampal paraffin embedded slices for immunostaining to access microglial and purinergic signaling activity. So microglial cells are known as a major producer of inflammatory cytokines, and P2X7 is a purinor receptor that, is down, that, that activates a downstream signaling that would end up in an increased secretion of I1 beta. And our results show that the SPS animal exhibited a higher number of IBA1 positive cells, and also uh, the SPS animal also exhibited a higher number of P2X7 positive cells with an increase P2X7 percentage of area, which suggests an increased expression of the P2X7 in ventral hippocampus of the SPS exposed animals. Since P2X7 is not uh, exclusively expressed in, in microglia, we also counted uh, the P2X7 positive microglia, and as you will see, they also increase in this P2X7 in this 
SPS exposed animals. And in the bottom, you will see the correlation just to show that the SPS exposed animals were, were the ones that expressed more P27 positive microglia. So for this reason, we, we designed this experiment in which we implanted ICD cannula for administration of a P2X7 inhibitor prior to the SPS and during the recovery period to prevent the SPS induced behavioral impairment that we already saw. So, and as you will see, our results show that in male, in male um, rats, when you look at day five, the treated group, which is uh, depicted um, on, on purple, they, they, they show a less time, less freezing time when compared to the vehicle group during day five, which suggests that the, the, the treatment group, that the treated group uh, recovered from the, from the SPS induced uh, impairment. And when you look at day five, you see that the treated group has spent more time in the center when compared to the vehicle group, thus suggesting that these rats have a less anxiety-like behavior when compared to the vehicle. When we look at the female data, it's, they, they show a similar pattern in which you can see in day five, in the purple, in, in color purple, you will see the treated group, which, which is showing a less freezing response to the, to the tone when compared to the vehicle group. And when you look at day five, they spend more time in the center, the treated group spend more time in the center when compared to the, to the vehicle. <clears throat> so this is just, Basically, uh, here is all the uh, altogether data. Just to say that uh, this data suggests that inhibiting the P27 following trauma exposure might prevent the development of, of stress-induced behavioral impairment. In this case, the in this case the SPS-induced PTSD-related behaviors. So, as a result, uh, we can we can say that seven-day treatment of a three micrograms of the P27 inhibitor prevented the SPS-induced impairment in the fear extinction recall. Besides, an increased time in the center was observed in rats, both male and female rats, that received the p 2 7 inhibitor treatment, suggesting, a, suggesting an improvement of the asset like behavior. In conclusion, altogether, this data suggests that inhibiting inflammatory responses, such as the p 2 7 in this case, in microglia, following trauma exposure might prevent the development of trauma-associated neuropsychiatric disorders such as PTSD. So as an ongoing experiment, we already collected the blood, the blood serum samples and we are testing the, the pro-inflammatory cytokines expression in these treated and non-treated groups. And we also have the, the ventral hippocampal paramphine embedded slices to, to do the immunostaining and, and follow up on the experiments. Uh, thank, thanks to all my lab members that basically make my life easier. And if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thanks for your attention.